Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, I just want to come out here and share a dream that I had the other night. I don't remember when, but I believe it was um, last week that I had that dream. And um, it's pretty crucial that, um, especially women, that they listen to it. Um, the dream basically was um, I walked into a church and they were m mostly women. I remember in a dream they were uh, mostly women sitting down. And uh, they all were chained with padlocks. And there was a sign there that was uh, telling them that if they want to be free, all they have to do is say hi to their neighbor, which is the person sitting beside them. That's all they have to do is just say hi, you know, to the, ne to the next person that is there. And even though the sun was there, these women would not even pay attention to it. They were looking around as if nothing was happening, as if they were not enchained with padlocks. Like you can just feel the pride in them. They don't want to speak to their, you know, to the other woman, to the neighbor, you know. It was just pride that was in their heart. So here I uh, uh, so here I come into that store. Uh, I'm sorry, into that um, into that uh, church, and I read the sign, and I see them how they are enchained. So I start saying hi to them. I was saying in a dream, um, hi, how are you, ma'am? And then I would say, and then when someone will be unlocked and be freed from the chain, I would say, oh, I just wanted you to be free. And then that's how I was going and saying, you know, and greeting everyone that was, all the women that, that, um, that were there. And all of a sudden, they start smiling at me, you know, they like they were waiting for me to just touch them and say hi and, and say how are you and, you know. So it was uh, pretty, I don't know, it's, it's pretty sad because in these days, even the women who call themselves true Christians, this pride and arrogance is among us. This is among women. And I know what I'm talking about because when I was in the world, this is one thing that I was telling the Lord, please, Lord, remove the pride and arrogance in me because it's very dirty. Can you just imagine that Jesus Christ, the owner of gold, silver, all the precious stone of this world, I mean, he can make someone rich if he wants to. He can do whatever he wants to do with this, you know, uh, with this uh, richness, but he chose, he left his glory, his glorious throne that no one can ever afford, that no one can, 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 ne can ever imagine how glorious his kingdom is, his throne is. He left it. He came here on earth, on earth and made himself nothing, nothing. He was not even middle class. He was not even rich. He was poor. He was among one of the poorest people in this world. So he did that just only so we can have eternal life. All that just so we can be reconciliated back to the Father, to God the Father. And here we are, poor human being in the flesh, the flesh that will perish. Here we are um, just being pride. What are we pride of? Among women, what is it that we are pride of? It's the skin. I don't know. Maybe the way you are shaped. I don't know. Maybe your pants. You bought a new pair of pants. Whatever it is, people go to church these days because they want to show off what they have. People even go to church just, just so they can show off the design that God had put in their body, their shape. They will go in pants with, I mean, in church with tight pants and everything. All that pride and arrogance. And you, see, and you know my sisters and brothers, especially my sisters, that's one of the reasons why when I came to Christ, I decided that I will not do any attachment to my hair. 
I would not put any weave on on my hair and things like that. Earrings, because these things make a woman pride. And I remember when I was in the world, all I had to do is just do my hair. I would go and do my hair, whatever I would do. And that's it. It's almost like something enter me. And I, and I look at people as if they are nothing. I see myself as if I was the most beautiful woman. You know, at least I will. I was humble enough not to think that I was the most beautiful woman in the world. But some women actually do think that they are best than anybody in this world. So, woman, this is really something that is crucial. If you are one of these people who are listening and you st- and you are Christian, and you still have the spirit of pride in you. You know, you want to always compare yourself to others. You always want to show how how good you are. You know, you have to stop it now. And pray the Lord Jesus Christ to remove, to help you remove this spirit of pride. It's not a good thing. So, um, God bless you guys. In Jesus' name, amen.